On Thursday, July 7th, 2022, just after 9 p.m., a Mesa police officer working in the area of Morris and University noticed a white SUV driving behind him with its hazard lights flashing. A short time later, the officer was dispatched to a call for service. As he was driving to the call, he realized the same vehicle was continuing to follow him. Unsure of why the SUV was following him, the officer decided to drive to police headquarters, located at 130 North Robeson here in Mesa. Here is surveillance video as the officer arrives to the secured gate on the north side of the building. As the gate opens, the SUV rams the back of the patrol car and forced it forward. The officer tells the dispatcher what is happening. I'm sorry, can you give me the channel? I got someone following me into the jail gate. He just hit the back of my car. Now he's ramming me. As the patrol car was being pushed for several feet, the officer rolled out of the vehicle, faced the suspect vehicle, and fired his duty weapon. The patrol car continued down the ramp and collided with a curb. The officer took cover behind a forensics van where he encountered a crime scene specialist who he quickly ushered out of the way. The crime scene specialist ran for cover and hid behind a pillar in the garage bay. Several other professional staff were also in the area and quickly ran back into the building. The officer then saw a woman, later identified as 39-year-old Tanisha Carter, get out of the SUV and run in a north-northeast direction. This is when the officer fired his duty weapon again. And here is what was captured on surveillance video. As Carter ran, she dropped to the ground and began rolling toward the security gate. Backup officers were able to treat her for her injury until Mesa Fire and medical personnel arrived and took her to the hospital. Carter was treated for one gunshot wound, which at this point in the investigation appears to have been sustained during the first shooting while she was still in her vehicle. Carter was released into police custody and faces the following charges. Aggravated assault with a dangerous instrument and third degree trespass. The Mesa police officer involved in this shooting suffered scrapes and abrasions to his elbows, hands, and knees, but has no serious physical injuries. He has been with the Mesa Police Department for one year and this is his first officer-involved shooting.